Hello everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing City Folk. Day number 36. It is Sunday, October 13th. Which means we've got Joan coming to visit, that's kind of cool. Buy some more turnips, at least buy the red ones. The red one. If she's selling a red turnip, I would love to purchase that. Uh, apparently we got some mail. Oh yeah, the HRA. Every Sunday. Oh, we need to clear out our letter inventory. Oh yeah, we got the pear! I'd already completely forgotten about that. Lovely carpet. We have so many things. Did I want to keep the modern screen? Yeah, maybe. Hello, HRA. How am I doing? 34,000. Your pieces? Most of them? Nice. Rare. Impressive. We're giving you a lucky bonus. Congrats. Nice. I do have a lot of rare nonsense just kind of crammed into my house. And you know, if you if you dig that... Oh, we gotta keep that one. Proof of my victory. Okay. Um... Flower water in time. Let's move the roses again, as usual. Too many roses. We could wear them. We could be a flower witch for a little bit. I don't really have any desire to do that, though. Okay. Water and all the flowers. We gotta find our money rock, fossils, just the usual. Um, we gotta track down Joan. Is there anything else I really wanna do? Oh, we definitely need to plant our pear. That is, like, critically important. Which means we're gonna need we don't we don't need an axe. We don't need to replace existing trees with our pear tree. But I would hate to plant a pear and then have it not grow, you know? So I think the uh, tried and true method of putting a spot where we know a thing can go. A tree. A thing. A tree. The things are called trees. Put it in a spot where we know that trees work. So I'd like to see if Nook is selling axes. Axes do not go very far. They break pretty gosh darn quickly. Okay, what are you? Is this the thing that I was hoping would happen yesterday? Ooh, a blue dresser, you don't say. Thank you for that nook. Let's, uh, let's jump all the way back here. Hang on. Yep, no, that's legit. We'll keep that. Bug off results. Explorer's Day. Oh, that's tomorrow. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I still don't actually know what that is. So we'll keep that. We'll keep Kit's birthday on here. Um, we'll erase that. The winner is me. Definitely going to keep that on here. Thanks to the donations from everyone, we've decided to build a new bridge! Vote on the location at the Civic Center! Yay! That's what we wanted. So we get to build a new bridge. Are you the pitfall? You're not. Awesome. That's another thing that I wanted. Not the pitfall. Our money donated to the town fund. It's paid off. We get a cool benefit. We get to add a new bridge somewhere to our town. Have we looked at our town map in a while? We have not. Um, so there's this huge stretch of water, river, here in like the this sort of lower chunk of our map. Um, lower, upper. This is the upper part. Uh, this game, what are you doing to me? The Like the upper, both, both in the sense it's at the top and higher elevation. Doesn't matter. Uh, 
somewhere up here would be nice because like if we're if we're like down here for whatever reason and it's like hey i want to just go to my house right there we have to go all the way up and then over and then all the way back down it's a little tedious i would love to have a little shortcut somewhere down here wouldn't that be awesome so that's what i'm hoping for uh, i have limited influence over this i am one vote amongst many Uh, how do I do the thing? With your help, we have quite a few bells, which we'll be using to build a brand new bridge. We're currently conducting a survey to decide where we'll put the bridge. Please let us know what you think. Don't need one there. Don't really need one there. I was hoping it'd be further down, but I still like that one. All right, my opinion is being taken into account. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. That's all I wanted. Thank you, Pelly. Cool. Oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna have a bridge. And then I think it's something stupid like half a million. Four or five or six hundred thousand. Something right around there. For the next... The next town upgrade. That's gonna take us a little while. I also have no idea what we need to pay back to Nook right now. Aren't we also up around like 400,000 or something? That's a lot. Hello, Becky. How are you doing? A great museum shows visitors that Leofall has at least a few civilized people who love culture. Yes, I never want visitors to make fun of us for not being cultured enough. Only I can do that. So support our local museum, okay? Then visitors will wish that they lived in Leofall, sidekick. I have been doing that. For a good long while now. I've been doing that lots. For 35 and a little bit more than that days. Almost 36 full days. Well, full day in that I record, what, like a half hour, 45 minute long video every day. You get the picture. All right, we're just carrying around some random stuff. So let's ditch that. I was gonna store the wallpaper. Forgot about that. Okay, we'll sell those two. I wanna keep you, we'll sell that. That's not bad. Okay, you're not selling any axes. That's kind of a bummer. That's what I was hoping for. What is that bed? What is that bed supposed to be? It looks like a shoe or something? What is that bed shape? A pineapple! Oh! Can we actually replace our bed with this? I'm really curious. We're gonna for science this. I feel like, did we just miss out on the blue chair? Or did I sell you the blue chair? Hang on. I don't even know oh, there. I'm like, I don't even know where a blue chair would be in here. Um, I mean, we could have just straight up like blue wood furniture. We've gotten a couple pieces so far. Oh man, and I keep not buying the robot furniture set, and we keep seeing more and more of it. Bzzzt, robo table. No. No robo table. Oh, we've seen the illusion floor. That's not bad. Kind of obnoxious. Planked tatami. That's pretty neat looking. I do like it. Oh, somebody stopped me from just buying all sorts of furniture and stuff for my house that we don't have room for. Plaster wall, boring. Ornate wall, we've seen that one several times before also. We bought the candy, let's buy our flowers. We'll buy our tree. And we'll have to go dig an axe out of our inventory, out of our cupboard back home. Yes, I store multiple axes in my cupboard. What is the problem? There is no problem. I don't know what you're talking about. 
perfectly normal, reasonable thing for just your average, normal, everyday human to do. <sighs> Alright. Fine, we'll be back for the tree. <sighs> okay. And I know that I tend to plant flowers, you know, right around here where we purchase them. Let's go a bit further afield. I already watered that. Uh, okay, do we have any pansies we can plant here? Cosmos tulip, tulip, my pansy. So many white cosmos. Let's water both of you. Let's water all of these. Now that we have two differently colored flowers, like new exotic rare colored flowers, the black roses and the pink tulips, now I'm hooked. Now I want more. I want to know what other colors we can get. What other colors? What other types of flowers? What types of cosmoses can we get? We have no idea. Co Cosmies? Cosmi? What was the other one we have? Oh, like a tulip. I should also just be checking our money rock situation everywhere we go. Get out of here, you terrible weeds. There's Joan. Hello, Joan. I'll be right there to talk to you. It feels like right around here we don't have too many flowers. So let's... Try to remedy that, shall we? Let's even move you down here because I always am at a weird angle when I place those for some reason. I don't know, just the way it is. Got another green candy, that's pretty exciting. It's hard to believe that we've only gotten one yellow candy. It's a little imbalanced. few flowers up here on this plateau, but not a lot right around here. Hello, Agent S. You were out and about today. How are you doing? Wahoo! You're looking totally peppy this morning. Walking time, walking time. Time to get all fit and stuff. Sidekick. I just ate like 50 pounds of ice cream, so I'm feeling kind of bloated. That's a lot. That's, that is a lot of ice cream. That is maybe even too much ice cream. Dare I say it. How, how dare I suggest such a thing, but whew, that's, that's a lot of ice cream. Oh no, I just stomped on some flowers. I'm such a terrible person. Okay. Um, Joan, how are you doing? Do you have any red turnips? Woohoo, she has one. I'll take it. Uh, what are the white turnip prices? I'm curious. One oh four. Maybe, maybe we buy them. That's still kind of. I don't know. I don't know, middling price? I'm not sure. I don't know the exact prices just like off the top of my head. I know that at some point I got really into it. And I think 
it's from like 90 to 110 ish so 100 and below is what you want to aim for for white turnip prices but uh i could be mistaken i mean it's right around there but i don't know like the exact upper and lower limits on the, the prices for purchasing from joan gonna be at a weird angle for this too. Let's see if we can pull it off. Yes! I'm so good at catching bees. Finish shaking all our trees. Um, where do we want to put our Hair. I have so no inventory space at all. So so little inventory space. Uh, we have okay. Oh, that's the red turnip seed. I was like, wait, we have one more flower to plant? No. Well, kind of. It's not really a flower. Man, if we had a bridge here, wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be so cool? I would love it. This is exactly the very, very, very common run that we would no longer have to do. All right, how you doing, Spork? Whoa, 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 what? Hey, King, I know this is kind of sudden, but I have to move out of Leah Fall. Oh, don't go. I mean, it's not set in rock candy yet or anything, but if something doesn't happen to change things, it looks like I'll probably be going, Snork. Oh, Spork, you're one of the three pigs that we have here in town. The three little piggies. We're getting closer and closer to the day I move. Take care. Oh, we'll have a nice life, I guess. <laughs> that's such a, that's such a thing to say. Oof. Even though I'm moving away, it doesn't mean you can just forget me, Snork. Well. I'm assuming that you're leaving, we will miss you, Spork. I think Spork was one of the very first animals that moved in. He was either, he was, he was not an OG character, I, I believe. I think he moved in like day, day two or day three or something, like really early. I forget. Okay, we gotta put that in storage. Gotta see if we can do something about that. We gotta put this in storage. These are for selling. This is for going into storage. Put you here. Watering can. Okay. I still think we could probably get away with selling these on Sundays, but like having the money right now doesn't make that big of a difference. Unless I'm gonna like invest in Jones turnips or something. So there's there's no point. Sorry, I just had to go through my usual ritual of touching things. More green candy. Okay, the modern screen, which I kind of dig. The planked tatami, which I also kind of dig. Who knows if we're ever actually going to use any of these. I just, I like them. Okay, then we have this pineapple bed. I don't know if we can actually replace, like, our upstairs bed. And if we can't, why would I want beds elsewhere in my house? I don't understand. Unless somebody wants to sleep down there in the thing. Yes! Oh, here we go. It's so stupid. I love it. Um, can we actually change, like, the wallpaper that we have up there in the attic? I have no idea. I don't think we can. I think I've tried. Oh, yeah, we have the music playing in here. I forgot about that. Man, I want more gyroids so bad. I want... I just want more gyroids. 
It's like basically the only thing I want in life. More gyroids. Um, do we keep the bed? Basic yellow bed? Eh. Probably just gonna sell it. Um... I forget which was which. I'll just grab all these. Sorry, I'm completely distracted now. Uh, the regal carpet was the blue one. Okay. Oh, yeah, the opulent rug's not bad. For, like, under my bed upstairs. What better place for opulence than this itty-bitty tiny little attic? Yeah, no, we can't. We can't decorate up here. We can replace the bed and that's it. Oh, well. That's what I thought. Just had to double check. Oh, dang it. <sighs> I can't use the run button when we're in here. Just not allowed. Open that treasure. We gotta show off the loot. Anybody who comes into the house needs to be impressed by my loot. Um, oops. Opulent rug, regal carpet, palace tile. Put all you back. Let's get out of here. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. There we go. Now we're out. Ha ha ha. Now we can run all we like. So we got our turnip. Have not found the money rock. We'll just go down this way. Look at me just chasing away every mantis. So the pears are actually going to be like super duper worthwhile to harvest and sell regularly. Like every every three days or however long it takes them to grow back. So we're going to want to do that a lot. So planting them up near Tom Nook's place would actually probably be a really good idea. Okay. Accept, game. Accept your coconut offering. I know that I've tried putting more around here. Is that like too close to your house? I don't know. It might be. We're gonna just try planting this coconut. It's literally free. And if it dies, I'll be mildly sad, but it's not the end of the world. Uh-oh. Speaking of the end of the world, ah, it's bees! Oh, and I see a thing. Okay. I didn't know if they were gonna make a bee line towards me. Boy, how do I feel saying that out loud? Or if they were gonna like actually come up the ramp. I didn't know how their bee pathing would work. Answer, yes, they, they come right for you. They go right for the eyes. Vicious little predators, little dirty fighters, little nightmare monsters. I don't know. Trying to harvest my eyeballs. I was just going to say, we're going to keep shaking these because I would like to get lots of money. I really want to pay off our house and get another expansion. Okay, fossils. What is that? Oh yeah, we're, we're just, we're selling you. Woo! That's three. That's pretty good luck so far. More 
more coconuts. Always good to grab those and sell them. Ooh, lots more coconuts. Okay. We'll deal with, like, fossils and everything else first, free up some inventory space, and then we'll come back for coconuts. Yes, and it's the good money rock, the easy one. My favorite. Just put the shovel away. That's fine. This is why we want, we need to free up some more inventory space. Because we cannot even hold the coconuts. Oh, there's a lot. Ooh, there's a ton of them. Uh, we should also check for scallops. I gotta remember to do that. We have a couple in storage, so it's not the end of the world. If uh, What's-His-Face shows up again. Pascal. But the more of those we have, you know, saved as a backup, the better. Holy crap, we have so many coconuts today. This is going to be awesome. That's a lot of money. And as always, I must have run right past the other fossil and not found it. It's always fun. Uh, that's not what I was after. The grass shirt. Nope. Persian turban. It's not bad, but I do like the witch hat. I mean, there's also the clown nose, but eh. A clown witch is just kind of getting creepy, so we're not going to do that. Not going to do that. Um, I guess we shake trees. There is, I believe, one more bumblebee that we could catch. I imagine that they're just nice, fuzzy bumblebees. Ooh, and a piece of furniture. So we have one more piece of furniture. We have, um, oh, we have two more bees to catch. Theoretically. Okay, well, there's one. I want to see what that cabin table looks like. Okay, we have exactly one more inventory slot. Uh, which, where, did I start with the top trees or the bottom trees? I have no idea. Oh, I will have exactly one more inventory slot if I pull out my bug net or something. <sighs> Let's just go back to Nook. Let's just go sell all this crap because we got a lot of stuff. I want to see what the table looks like, though, because we need more, like, I don't know what the word is. Not, like, shelving, but you know, tables and f more, like, elevated surfaces, I guess, that we could put stuff on. Like, I don't know, for example, hypothetically speaking, if somebody had, uh, maybe, I don't know, what are some items that you could put up on a table or something that you want to display? Like, if you had a couple of trophies or something, maybe? I don't know, just completely... Just, just you know, some random thing. Don't know why anybody would have just a house full of trophies. That seems kind of silly. We're going to look at the cabin table before we go sell things at Nooks. Because if it's terrible, then obviously we sell it. If it's not terrible, then we just keep it. Um, oh, and it goes with our cabin wardrobe. Interesting. I wonder if it counts as like a feng shui item, like if it counts as yellow or something. I 
have no idea. Yeah, we can maybe make this work. Right, my inventory is still completely full. Okay, we'll make this work later. We're gonna keep the table. I think the table's gonna go back here in this corner, because I think we can put the lucky cat and lucky frog on top of it. If not, we can at least like move the chair, put the trophies on top of the table. Scoot the lamp over here. Put our uh, stereo up on the table. Like we can, we can, oh, the, like the bonsais and stuff. We get like a table for those. That'd be kind of cool. We can make it work. We can make something happen. I prefer more of the small tables, to be honest. Which I guess we could just order more from Nook. Eh. If I really wanted to do that. Oh, did I grab an axe? Doesn't matter, our inventory's full. Oh. I'm so easily distracted. Ooh, 10,000 bells. That feels real good. <sighs> okay. Axe. One more fossil to find. We found the money rock. I can just go looking for the fossil on my own. It's not the end of the world. Um, I have no idea which trees I have and have not shaken. the cedar saplings that's probably fine we'll deal with the table situation later tomorrow probably maybe This would be like a really nice little place for all of the uh, pears. Just because it's right by Tom Nook's store. actually curious because I don't like I don't know no I don't like exactly where I was just standing as I think we've established I don't know what all the rules are for where we are and are not allowed to put trees so we'll try planting one there um, that that's it for the axe that was what we needed it for we'll have to Oh, excuse me. Um, we're gonna have to uh, do like plant more pear trees, but it's gonna be like a week or something before we can do that. Hey, would you take this mosaic wall off my hands for free, of course? Or oh, sure. Oh, really? Thanks. Or oh, here you go. It's a present from someone else, but it clashes with my style, so I had to get rid. <clears throat> I mean, I had to re-gift it. Thanks for helping. Or oh. I forgot that we made her say the Kenshin sound, the Kenshin noise. I think it's just fantastic. Great decision on my part. Um, I have lost track of which trees we have and have not shaken. And I'm also just not seeing the fossil. But I'm not being like super, super, super careful about looking either. Oh, you know, hmm, I should maybe put the fishing pole back in storage. Now that it's not a fishing tourney.
Okay, don't mind if I do. I thought I got all these trees already. I must have just missed that one down below. Bob the cat, how are you doing? Oh no, I think I lost the key to my house and if I don't find it soon, I'm gonna have to sleep outside. Please don't make me sleep outside. Please help me find my key, will you? Meow. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna sell, whoops. We're gonna find the key now and then I'll sell the uh, coconuts off camera when I go looking for the fossil. Cause I really don't wanna drag these videos out too long. Oh, a Popeye goldfish, it's bugging out. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen one of those. That's pretty exciting. That's a new fish. That's something new for Blathers in the museum and it's not a terrifying nightmare bug. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. There you go. Crucian carp. Definitely not a house key. Do I need to talk to Bob again and have him tell me that he dropped his key in the river? Or can we just find it? We've done this enough that we know this is how it works. Oh boy, another Crucian carp. Who would have guessed? Oh, come back, you're on the other side of the river. You're so far away. I know that if I go walk across the bridge and all the way over to your side of the river, you'll come over to this side again. I know that that's how that works. Here we go, here we go, here we go, come on. Look to your right. Look, no, you just went right past it. Stupid little fish. Come on, I believe in you. Ooh, okay. We can't see, but he's nibbling. Ooh, a neon tetra. I think we've caught one of those before. I think we've put one in the museum. I'm not positive, but I think so. Okay, we'll try to catch one more fish, and if we don't get a key here, we'll go talk to Bob again and be like, Hey, he dropped it in the river, right? And he'll be like, Oh yeah, I think I might have dropped my key in the river. And then I'll be like, Okay, cool, I'm gonna go start fishing now so that we can maybe catch your key. Okay, did, did that do it, game? Did that trigger it? Can we actually find his key now? Are there any fish down here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's one. Oh, you're a big one. It's a bass. What a surprise. Another remarkably common fish. Oh, Spork and Becky are up there talking. Oh, Spork just gave Becky a new change of clothes and she's happy. Look at them just whistling and dancing up there. They're all just so happy. And then Spork's going to leave us. 
Just like Static did. That's right, we got Hopper now. Hopper's a pretty cool puffin. Pale Chub. Uh, I know the game is not going to let me, like, you know, put the money up in my money storage wallet's corner. <sighs> okay. I'm reasonably certain we've caught a Neon Tetra before. So under that assumption, we're going to sell the Neon Tetra. Yeah, I think the Popeye Goldfish is the only one that's new. All right, let's go take another stab at fishing that key out of the river. Oh, and we should actually go over to the other side so I can pick up my money that we had to drop. Just deal with the money right now. Oh, I should have sold the mosaic wall too. Well, I kind of want to see what it looks like, so never mind. Just ignore me. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Game, I really don't want this video to go on forever. Please just let me find Bob's key so we can call it quits. Oh, and we still gotta like turn in the fossils too? Ugh. We could just do that tomorrow. It's not that big of a deal. What a surprise! Another Crucian Carp. <laughs> Come on. Where's your key? Bob, where'd you drop your key? Bob, where did you go swimming at? Were you upriver? Were you downriver? Did you go swimming in the ocean? Oh, you just, you turned right away from it. Here we go, here we go. Nope, not a key. Cherry salmon. Definitely not the pits. Bob, is that your key? Bob, is your key shaped like a fish? You're you're one of the honorary ones. You're one of the honorary ones that just wants to tease me. Just swim through the bobber. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Another pale chub. All right, well, Bob, it's increasingly looking like you're just going to live outside for the rest of your life. Bob, you are now an outdoors cat. Oh, wow, another pale chub. Uh, this is kind of getting ridiculous. Let's go maybe fish in the lower river. See if this makes any difference at all. Oh, down here where all the coconuts are taunting me. 
it's really hard to see past those coconut trees into the river. We gotta do the old fake out. We gotta walk away and sneak around from a different angle and see if that lures the fish out. Huh, I'm seeing no fish down here in the lower river. I guess we give up on that plan and go back up here. I'm gonna try one more, and if we don't get it, then just gonna have to wrap up the video. This already went on way longer than I'd intended. I'd actually intended for this to be just a, a super short, boring video. Buy some turnips, water some flowers, hit a rock with a shovel, call it quits. One of those. But nope. The pear tree also kind of threw me for a loop. I forgot that we needed to plant that. I forgot that we had a pear. That's super exciting. I wish I remembered which animal that came from. Right, fine, we'll just cast way the hell up here. That stupid fish. You are a troublesome fish. Why are you swimming away? Get back here! <sighs> Bob, this is a whole lot of trouble. Can I just give you the fishing pole and let you fish out your stupid key? There it is. Thank goodness. Would have been way more productive if you did that instead of just stomping around here like a panicky cat. Is this yours? My inventory is full again. Yay! Found the key! Thanks to you, King. I'll be able to sleep in my fluffy bed tonight. Oh yeah, please take 600 bells is my way of saying thanks. Alright. Oh, I'm completely wiped from looking for my key all day, so I'm going home. Isn't it like 10 a.m., 11 a.m.? A little after 11 a.m.? All right, I mean, you do what you gotta do. Okay, the very last thing we're gonna do, and then I'm calling it quits. For realsies, uh, and then I'll, I will maybe go look for that fossil and definitely go sell some coconuts. But I wanna see what the mosaic wall looks like. See if it looks good or not. Probably not going to be as good as our raft that we're on here. I really like that, but yeah, I, don't, I don't really like it. Not a fan of the mosaic wall, so it's going away. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to go sell some fish and coconuts and all that fun stuff. So thanks for watching, everyone. May the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.